Are you interested in Star Wars cosplay? Well, join me today as we make this helmet right here. See you guys inside. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we are working on a Clone Wars Trooper Phase 2 helmet. So and that's what I have in my hands here. And this is actually the complete print. Unfortunately for me, the complete print doesn't fit on my head. But I'm going to get a Dremel and I'm going to make it fit on my head because in here is plenty of room. For my head it's just the hole was too small. But that's my problem. Nah, you know. But I did this in one complete print on a CR-10 V2. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. You guys saw me do the Commander Neo's helmet. Now this is just a standard trooper's helmet that can, you can do all kinds of cool artwork with once you've got it going. So um, this model maker did a really good job with this model. And there's two reasons why I say that. One, the complete all-in-one print model is gorgeous. It is in-depth detail and it's easy to print. Um, other than a power outage, this guy was easy to do and the model maker did split it up already for anybody with an Ender 3 or something like that into parts so you can do all the individual pieces and do the assembly with a 3D printing pen or a super glue or epoxy um, depending on the material that you make this out of so there is a lot of cool options that you can do with this now we all know I'm a big sci-fi fan and the Star Wars helmets and the stormtroopers have always been interesting to me so I'm going to throw something out there in the comments down below. If you guys would like to see me actually make a full set of armor, let me know down in the comments below. I'm actually kind of curious to see what you guys would think. And honestly, in the 3D printing world, we're not that far from Halloween. So it's time to actually start thinking about costumes and different things like that. Even though, yeah, it's July, but you know what? You got to print it, you got to finish it, and you got to get it all fitted to be able to wear that day. So it does take time, especially for big projects like Stormtrooper armor. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like me to actually pursue a full set of Stormtrooper armor and what version of Stormtrooper armor or clone armor do you think I should go for? But before we head over to Cure and get this thing sliced, hit that subscribe button if you're new here and if you like the content that you're seeing on this channel. We do all kinds of different prints, we do all kinds of technical videos, we do all kinds of videos in regard to 3D printing. So I'd love to have you join the crew. Um, comments, yes please. Share. If you know somebody who's 3D printing or wanting to get in the cosplay or something like this, let, let them know about the channel so we can get this channel growing and really make it into something to where I can actually spend more time doing this kind of stuff for you guys. So let's hop over to Kira. Let's get this thing sliced. We'll see the time lapse of the actual print and then we'll recap here back afterwards. All right, guys, so here we are at the computer out on Thingiverse, and here is the model. The link is down in the description below. All credit to Killinus, who created this model. Uh, beautiful model. Loved it. A little bit disappointed it doesn't fit on my head from the, the grommet, but that's my problem. I have a big head. Yeah, it's just the way it is. But I can always come back and actually print this in the multiple pieces because I did have to downsize this about 4% to get it to fit on my build plate as a solid piece. So as you can see here, here's all the different parts um, ready for you to be able to print this one. This model has gotten a lot of attention. There are a ton of comments, 41 makes and 10 different remixes on the model. So let's take a look at the remixes here of just different ways and adjustments made to the model. So whether it's you want to print it in just three pieces or different things like that, different visors that you can add to it to make it more like Captain Rex or Cody or um, the different, to make it fit the different soldiers. But this is just the base helmet. I like kind of starting with the base because then I can take it and turn it into something that I want it to be, which is always the fun part and really one of the fun parts of 3D printing. So that's the model. And as you can see, there are a lot of parts if you go to print this. And a lot of these are version 3. So we're going to look at just the solid piece helmet because that's what I printed. If you guys want me to do a print in parts, comment that down below. I will gladly try to do this completely with an Ender 3 um, if anybody is interested in seeing me do a, a take of that. Um, I'm going to do the Clone Trooper Phase 2 version 3. 
and we're going to pull that onto the bill plate, and it shouldn't fit. Um, so I had to go down to 96%, but also, Kira 9 point, this version of Kira is, baffles me sometimes. It always puts my stuff off the build plate. I'm going to turn it for fit. And I'm going to just try to weasel it on there. And like I said, I knocked mine down to 96%. And looky there. She fits. I'm going to get her to 0, 0. And boom. There we go. Now, support's going to be important, especially here. So you're gonna have a lot of support. Um, and also, you know, I've noticed like here comes in really badly a lot of times with, so custom supports can be your friend here to help actually lessen your use. And that's just coming over here. I usually use the cylinder and bam, 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 bam. And putting in the custom supports. That way you've actually got support. And also I build on a raft because I want as much build plate adhesion as I can. And since a lot of this is not even touching the build plate, I'm okay with a raft. It may be a little bit waste of material, but when I get up there, if my printer is out of alignment or something not leveled or something along those lines that could cause me to drag, I've got a lot of bed adhesions that's going to kind of help that one out. So we've got that. Here's my typical settings. So layer heights wall thicknesses make sure you have retraction enabled and z hop enabled um, that's always a good thing infill i didn't do much i think i did five percent uh because this is double walled which is mucho great uh print temperatures those are wrong i usually print around 215. i'm using inland pla plus 215 with a build plate of 50 degrees i am using a glass bed um, depending on your region, you may have to go hotter, you may have to go colder. It just kind of depends on where you are and your humidity and your climate of where your printer's at. 50 works really well for me, especially in the summer. When I come into the winter, I may bump that up to 60 um, because instead of my air conditioner, which my air con my AC and heating unit are in the same room as my printers, um, so that can kind of fluctuate the temperatures for my printers to work. So I have to make some adjustments every once in a while. Print speed, uh, wall speed, travel speed. Um, I don't have jerk enabled or acceleration control. I've never really needed it. Make sure you got that retraction enabled and make sure you got that Z hop when retracted. Make sure that's checked. It looks like some of my settings actually got kicked out, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, generate support, support overhang angle 53%. No, 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 no. Start at 80. And then for a raft, three, that's fine. So you can slice it. You'll see support build because you're going to need a little bit of oomphing up there. You could flip this over and print it the other way, but you're still going to have a lot of support build on the inside. Um, but you won't have the center support that's just a stick. But in all honesty, I keep those sticks um, because I also do Warhammer and different things like that. That I try to take a lot of the scrap and turn it into uh, terrain pieces. So it's just kind of one of those things, make my own unique terrain. If you guys ever want to see me take the scrap and make something out of it, comment down below. Let me know that you want to see that.
right guys, there's the print. So for me, if I left it alone like this, I'd put the visor in and it would have to be a shelf piece or my daughter might be able to wear it. But in all, it is a actually really nicely detailed helmet. So if you've got a kid or something like that, this is a great print, especially the way the model maker made it into the pieces. So definitely worth your time, solid model, not a lot of work to get it to print, definitely worth your time to get it done. So if you guys hope you enjoyed what you saw today, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Remember hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notifications of new videos. There's one every Friday um, and some shorts on Tuesdays every once in a while. So thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video.